Oh hi, I'm Eva. I've been watching a lot of paint videos like <laughs> I'm just doing <laughs> God damn it, pretty. <laughs> <sighs> My roommate thinks it's very entertaining. I, I've screwed up a few takes so far. So anyways, I'm Eva. I've been watching a lot of paint videos and I was like, I want to do a paint video. So we're going to do one. <laughs> uh, it's more of an abstract acrylic clean pour, I think is what it's called. You'll figure it out while we do it. Uh, the one thing I was noticing is that other people do it on a dry canvas and I was like, ooh. I don't think it's gonna blend very well, so I'm gonna use a whitewash on the canvas first and then do all my pores. I feel like it'll work very well. So let's transfer down to the canvas. Also, I was running out of, I'm running low on a plastic wrap, which is why I'm using the crinkliest and loudest material ever to protect my table, aluminum foil. Because adulting is this thing where you go, I know I need to buy this thing, and then you don't because you're old and you forget about things. So my next tip here, I guess, is to pour colors with extreme carelessness and then blend them together flawlessly. And I believe this will work. I watched videos on it, Brittany. It's a thing. You're doing one. Then I'm gonna try to go from our kind of lights to our darks. And we got this light sky blue. Then I got a dock of blue. And we're gonna end with a deep, beautiful dark purple. Now I hope that's enough paint, it might be too much. We're gonna find out. The idea is that it'll beautifully blend. I feel like I did this wrong. This was supposed to be easy. Okay, so I'm gonna pull you guys sideways so that I have a clear path to pull through. Yeah, now I'm thinking. This was gonna be much easier than this, but it's not. Pull real nice and smooth. Yeah, see that's kind of beautiful. Apparently the purple needs to go to the end, or this is not going to work. You'll see, in like 30 years, this thing will be for auction for like three dollars, and I'll feel really accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this needs anything. Like, is this is this art? Apparently. Did I art? Apparently, I don't like the light blue. Other than that, it's fairly nice. The light blue. I don't even see any of the light blue. Exactly. What? I don't know how to input. I want to blend it out. Like, I want to take a beauty blender and blend it out, but I realize that I don't have one big enough for a canvas. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Eva's disliked sock. I'm gonna be part of the experiment today. Why well, did I have a western type of voice? I didn't, it had a Newfie kind of voice. Why does everyone think Newfie sounds like western and hick voice? That's kind of nice. I like that way better. That gives it a nice texture and it gets rid of the lines and it blends it fairly well. You should tell people on your video to just use a sock. Yeah, fuck all other systems. Use a sock. An old sock that you don't like. Yeah, preferably. Well, I think a wool sock would probably give really nice texture too. Yeah, like don't use like a Puma sock from like Costco because that has no mm. texture. I'm an artist creating a new technique. They'll teach about this at the You should try to blend your makeup like this. Are you saying that I should do a sock makeup challenge? Yes. I should. I would watch that video.
All right, I've now blended as much as I think it needs to be blended. Brittany, would you like to come confirm? I think it's, this is a much better look, the I beat me to death with a sock look. I quite like it way better than the brush. Oh yeah. All you have to do is ruin a sock. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna see how it looks after that and maybe we just created the best new way to do paintings. Drying time later, look at this beauty. Look at how abstract she is. I like it. I feel like I made a new, it's a new art style. It's called Eva's fuckery style. Final thoughts? It's beautiful, Eva. I'm gonna hang it up somewhere. It's gonna live with me forever because I'm incapable of throwing away things that I consider art. I've had spoon art in my house for years. It's literally just spoons glued together and spray painted, but I can't throw them out. They're spoons? Yeah. You didn't know that? No. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about now. <laughs> yeah, I got really bored one day. I did not know they were spoons. And I was wondering where you go. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to make spoon flowers one day. <laughs> Yeah, there's spoons hot glue and I used a lighter to melt them a little and then I added um, Freaking the centerpieces. Hmm? I really like those and I'm like, you know what, <laughs> in the bookshelves at my new place, I'm gonna make spoon art. I could just make you some. You could just make me some. They're not hard, you just need a lighter. It's hot glue. We're also going to the dollar store. Ta-da! <laughs> Anyways, I'm Eva. If you guys like this video and my painting experience and kind of getting to know Brittany, please hit like, comment down below, and hit subscribe so I can see you guys next time!